What is going on internet? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we got something pretty awesome that I've been wanting to do. I am super excited. Like, listen, I have been excited for videos before of things that I have purchased or received, but this is an item that I've been wanting to do for such a very long time. In this box, this is gonna be either a make it or break it for me for the simple fact of like my expectations. I always have spare wires and just wires that are laying around the house that I have nothing to do with. I've always wanted to wire strip them and collect all the copper in a bucket. I don't do this normally. I don't, I'm not a scrapper. I'm not somebody who goes and specifically looks for wire. As a matter of fact, I'm in my workshop right now and before I even tested, look at this, right down here, right down there. I have scrap wire just laying around from something that I did in the workshop earlier. I think I have some behind over here, this wall just laying around. I have some in my garage just laying around. So I've always wanted a wire stripper, an easy way that I can just strip down that scrap wire, have a five gallon bucket or something like that, throw all that copper and wrap it up really tight, throw it in that bucket. And then when I fill up a bucket, I go turn it in and maybe make 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, a thousand dollars. I don't know. I don't think it's a thousand bucks, but nonetheless, it's going to be something I get. I'm pretty excited, but without further ado, let's go ahead and open this thing up, check it out, see what's up on the inside. And then we will go ahead and find some wire and strip it. So here we go. I bought this on Amazon and what we will do is I will put a link in the description below to this wire stripper and we'll see how it does. I'm okay. All right. Boom. And boom. That's it. Nothing else. There's nothing in this box. No instructions, no how to, no what to do. I think they just expect you to kind of figure out how to work it yourself. But uh, yeah, that's it. Nothing else in the box. And, and for the most part, it looks like it's already together. So that's kind of cool. Oh, I see it right there. So this can be hooked up to a drill. Okay, so you can actually take this and screw it down into something like that, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna kick all this to the side. The only thing that we are going to use is this piece right here. And this is a hex head nut for your drill. That way you can power through this thing without having to hand crank. Okay, so this is your tensioner for your wire. Let me get down here, down low. And this goes down and that's really sharp. So this goes down, up and down. That way it splits your wire and it just runs through. This has a nice, these has, have nice teeth. This is bullet aluminum. This is billet aluminum. Jeez, I can't talk. Billet aluminum. It seems pretty heavy duty. I'm gonna clamp this to the table. It does have this little arm that sticks out. We're gonna clamp this to the table and hopefully we can get this thing to work. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna set this up and we'll go ahead and try it out and see how it does. Pretty excited. Um, here is this too. I don't know why this goes up and down. Okay, and we'll see how it does. Let's just go with it and see what happens. All right guys, so I went ahead and I got this thing hooked up to my table right here, my bench, and I did do the crank. We're gonna try the crank first. We're gonna see how that works, just doing it by hand, seeing how difficult it is before I actually hook up the drill to do some long pieces. But uh, let me show you what I did. Right here, I got the clamp hooked up, and I think I might eventually do that. I don't know, I might put some uh, screws in here that way, pre-drill for this thing, I don't know. But from what I can tell, this is what I'm thinking. This is the in feed for the wire. So the wire comes in here, and this, I think, just basically prevents any wire from coming in on this way. This might not even be used for anything, I don't know. But this is super sharp, so you have to be careful with that. And then this right here, these screws hold it in place. So as you move this thing up and down, if you really want to lock it into place, you just tighten these up and that will keep your body or whatever it is from going up or down. And then you feed your wire through, you crank away, however direction it is, I think it would be that way. And it should pull the wire through and come out this way, stripped. So let's go around my house. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab that wire. I think I have some stuff in the back as well that we're gonna go ahead and pull and strip. And then without further ado, we're gonna try this thing out and strip some wire and see 
if it works, hopefully as good as I think it's gonna work. So let's go get some wire. Okay. So I found some wire. We're gonna go ahead and see how this thing does and strips out all of this wire. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down and get it worked, so here we go. Alright guys, so I'm going to talk while I'm doing this, and to be honest with you, this thing is working awesome. There it goes. Let's do the second piece. All right guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over to the drill method. I'm gonna hook this drill up to the end of this. Oh, but what I need to do is remove the handle. It's a little bit off the screw. Let's hook the drill up to it. All right, there was the drill. It had a little bit of slippage. You could see right here, it was slipping a little bit on the plastic. Uh, but other than that, it ripped right through this. Let's go ahead and get this thing out. This thing is crazy awesome. This is exactly what I was hoping for. It's more of a fun thing for me to, to go around, find scrap wire, maybe uh, find some that people are throwing out or something like that strip the wire down and just collect a five gallon bucket. But check this out, this is so awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and get this copper wire out of here. There's that little pile right there. All right, nice and tight. That was real time. That was absolutely real time for this wire. Oh my God. 
so much easier than stripping wire by hand or you know with a razor blade or whatever you just got to get past the mess i'm sure if you did this in shorter pieces you'd be all right but for the most part that's it so here's this chunk of wire here we go All right, guys, that is it. That is the video. That is the wire strip that I purchased from Amazon. Let me tell you something. This thing is absolutely amazing. If you have spare wire just laying around or if you are a collector of wire and do scrapping or anything along that lines, this is a must have. Check this out. Look at all of this casing. This is the wire casing that I just removed from all of this wire. And I did this in probably less than maybe five minutes of non-recording time. If I wasn't doing any recording, I could have had all this wire and some done in maybe five minutes. This was the easiest thing in the world. This thing is well built. It is easy to use with the drill. It is easy to use with the hand crank. It has mounting brackets for your desk. If you are doing anything, you have to have this. It is gonna save you so much time, energy, effort, than trying to use a homemade one pulling it through some homemade contraption with a razor blade that's gonna break and potentially shatter on you. Don't do that. Just save yourself the time and energy and get you one of these things right here. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Let's go ahead upstairs right now before we end this video and let's see how much this weighs. Let's see, wire stripper thumbnail? I think so, that might be awesome. All right, guys, so we're over here in the garage. Let's go ahead and turn on the scale. Six ounces. 15 ounces. 1.6 pounds. 1.9 pounds. Let's do a little bit back here. There's that. We'll put this little one in here. 1.12. One pound, 14 ounces is our total weight. So almost two pounds. I mean, really that's legit, almost two pounds of copper. All right guys, so what we have right here is one pound, 14 ounces. And right here, I'm gonna put the cost of copper times one pound, 14 ounces equals that. All right guys, that is it. That is the video of the day. I'm super excited about that wire stripper. That thing is absolutely amazing, super well built good quality, made my job so much easier. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and collect scrap. If I'm driving down the street, I might have a pair of nippers with me so I can cut anything off of wire. As a matter of fact, if you look right over here, I literally have a box marked wires. Those are all old scrap wires that I just don't use anymore. I might strip those out as well. Add that to my collection, and then what I can do is when I com completely fill up a five gallon bucket, maybe have 10, 15, 20 pounds of scrap times three, might have 30, 60, 70 bucks, I don't know. So definitely worth it and kind of get my money back on my first bucket, maybe two buckets it's gonna take to get my money back on that thing. And then from there, it'll just be fun profit. So if you like this video, go down below, hit the thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button that we get notified of all of my newest videos. But until that next video, make sure y'all do one thing, stay awesome. We'll see you on the next video, bye.